Today we are doing 11-4 areas of regular polygons and composite figures. If we're looking for the area of a regular polygon, regular polygon means all the angles are exactly the same size for that shape. The formula is area is equal to 1 half times the apothem times the perimeter of the shape. So that word apothem is something new today that we'll be, we'll be working on it. Um, the apothem is the line, if I zoom in here, this is the apothem right here, okay? So every shape, every regular polygon, you can draw a circle around it. So when we go from the center of that shape to the corner, well, that's the radius of a circle, okay? Um, we will be using that if we need to find the apothem with uh, Pythagorean theorem. But we, we have to find the apothem for every single question. So our main goal today is to find this piece right here. And then to find the perimeter of the shape. Um, some of the things that are going to come up today are uh, trig functions again. So to do a quick refresh of trig functions, and we'll go ahead and just wherever you have space on your paper. We're going to write down the trig functions that we could possibly be using today. We have sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent equals opposite over adjacent. Now in all honesty, most of the time for these, we are going to be using tangent, um, but we can't say we're never going to use sine and cosine. Just for this lesson, it's going to be a lot of tangent because we're going to be looking for the opposite piece, which is the um, apothem to the angle. Okay. So we'll get into question number one. We do have a little box there that tells us how many degrees are in every shape, um, but we're going to have to actually even reduce that even more to figure out how many degrees are in every corner. Um, if we want to save ourselves time now, let's go ahead and just do that. So if a triangle has 180, how many are in every corner? We'll divide by 3, we get 60 degrees. Okay. A pentagon has 540, a pentagon has 5 sides. So in every corner, we have 108 degrees. Then we get into a quadrilateral. Quadrilaterals have four sides. So 360 divided by four, each corner has 90 degrees. So those are gonna be our squares. Um, hexagon, 720. We divide 720 by six. And we get 120 degrees in every corner. We're not using a hectagon today, but we are going to use an octagon. Let's go ahead and put octagon. Octagon has a total of 1,080 degrees. Divide that by eight corners, and we have 135 degrees in every corner. So now when we do these questions, we actually need the divided numbers because we're going to be looking at individual corners. So for like question number one, question number one has the triangle. As we just wrote on top, each corner has six each corner has 60 degrees. So I know that this corner has 60 degrees, that the bottom right has 60, the left has 60. Now, this radius right here, remember, there can be, and I'll draw it very lightly, if we draw a circle around this, okay? This right here, I sometimes may call it the radius of the circle. Okay, um, but we're going to need, we might need that, we might not. Our big goal is we have to find the apothem, okay? So we get into this question, if this whole corner has 60 and I cut it, that means that this corner only has 30. And I know that this bottom then is cut in half, that has 7. So I'm going to cross off real quick. So how can I find my apothem? Which trig function can I use? Well, I'm looking for the opposite of 30, and I have the adjacent, so I'm going to use the tangent of 30 degrees. I can call it AX, whatever you want. Um, we'll call it X, so we don't get confused with the adjacent. X over 7. Well, how do I get X by itself? I'm going to multiply both sides by 7, or cross multiply. So seven tangent, 7 tangent of 30 equals X. So my apothem is 4.04, .04. okay? 
So my little a is 4.04. .04. My big P is perimeter. Well, each side is 14. For regular polygons, remember the sides are all the same. So 14 times 3 equals 52. And now just to plug it into my formula, the area of a regular polygon equals one half the apothem times the perimeter. The area of this triangle equals 84.9 meters squared. Okay. We'll go on to question number two. Okay, here we have a pentagon. As we look at our notes, a pentagon had 540 degrees. We divide it by five. Each corner has 108. But again, when I draw that radius, it's cut in half. So this only has 54 degrees. Again, I'm looking for the apothem. Okay, it'll get up as we progress on these, they get a little bit quicker because you'll notice a pattern. So the tangent of 54 equals x over 5. You say where'd that 5 come from? Well, half a 10 is 5. Okay, so 5 tangent of 54 is my apothem. So 6.88 is my apothem. My perimeter, it's ten, 10 inches for each side times five sides. My perimeter is 50. So the area of this pentagon is one half the apothem times the perimeter of the whole shape. Area is equal to 172 inches squared. So now we'll go on to question number three. Here's our square. We know that each corner has 90. So when I cut that in half, this bottom corner has 45. This has 7.5 because it's half of 15. And I'm looking for the apothem. Okay. So the tangent of 45 equals x over 7.5. So 7.5 tangent of 45 equals my apothem. And I actually got 7.5. Now, if you remembered special rights, always, first of all, remember that there's always more than one way to do one of these problems. And if we're going to go strictly on trig functions, let's do trig functions. But if you remembered special rights, if you have a 45, 45, 90 triangle, the legs are the same. So this leg was 7.5. It should have told us that that leg was also going to be 7.5. But if we forgot, hey, we did a trig function, still came out to the same answer. So the apothem is 7.5. Okay. The perimeter, each side is 15. There's four sides. Perimeter is 60. So the area of this square, and I know that we know shortcuts. That's fine. Um, I want to stick every way for this section using the one half times the apothem times the perimeter. We get area equals to 25 inches squared. Okay. Now, some of you guys are like, hey, it's a square. Hello, 15 times 15. You are absolutely correct. The answer is still 225. Okay. We'll do one more question on this side. We'll go on to question number four. Okay. Now, I have a radical in there. Still doable. Okay. So, I know that every one of these corners has 120. If I cut it in half, this is 60. So I can either do special rights or trig functions. Um, a lot of students have a hard time memorizing the special rights, but you know what? We can always rely on trig functions. The only thing that's different this time is they gave us the apothem, which is the opposite. So tangent of 60. This time I'm not putting an X on top. I know what that number is. But on the bottom, I'm going to put the X, which is this piece right here. 
Remember, it's only half of that side. So I'm going to basically um, cross multiply, divide these two switch places. So x equals 5 square roots of 3 divided by tangent of 60. x equals 5. So this is 5. The whole side then is 5 plus 5. It's 10. So apothem, 5 square roots of 3. Perimeter, I have 6 sides that are 10 centimeters each. My perimeter equals 60. Okay. So the area is 1 half the apothem times the perimeter. Area is going to be 2. 59.8 centimeters squared. Now we're going to continue on to figures. So composite figures just going to put together everything we've learned so far about finding the surface area. And um, a composite figure is a figure that can be separated into separate regions, regions that are basic figures. We'll have squares, we'll have circles, we'll have triangles. So we're going to incorporate all the formulas we've learned so far in this chapter. So question number one, just looking at question number one, what two shapes do we see? Well, we see a rectangle and we see half of a circle. Okay, so I'm going to have two different equations, one for the area of the rectangle one for the area of a circle, and I'll combine the two areas. So we'll look at these shapes and try to figure out how can I break them down. Okay, number one, the rectangle. Well, that's 34 times 15. So area equals 34 times 15. Area of the rectangle is 510, so this section is 510. Let's find that half circle. Well, the area of a circle in general is um, area equals pi r squared. Now, that is true, and we're going to use it, but this is half a circle. So what am I going to do with the whole area? Well, I'm going to divide it by 2. I know that this whole line is 15 because it's on the other side, so the radius is 7.5. So area equals pi times 7.5 squared. But since it's half a circle, I'm going to divide by 2. The area of half a circle was 88.4. So this piece is 88.4. So if I take the rectangle and I add the half circle, the Area of the whole composite the whole composite figure is five ten plus eighty eight point four area equals five hundred and ninety eight point four feet squared and we'll just scroll down here to the next question okay. The next question I have, I mean, it looks like four shapes. And when I first saw this shape, I was like kind of feeling overwhelmed. And I stopped and looked at it and said, ah, it's not four shapes. It's two. I have this triangle. And I have this triangle. Okay, that's it. The area for each of these triangles is one half base times height. So we'll find each of them and add them together. So the red one... Area equals one half, base is 38, height is 14. Area of the red one is 266 um, centimeters squared, but we'll add that at the end. The blue one, okay. Area equals one half, base times height, we get area is 200. When I add these together, the area of the whole shape is 466 
centimeters squared. Okay, and we'll just do a couple more questions here. Um, if you understand it already, you know, you go on to the next section. So on the bottom here, we have two trapezoids that are put together. A couple different ways to do them. Um, for some students, one way is better than the other. I don't have a way I prefer, just the way that I thought of first. So we have, we can do color code again. We have a red trapezoid. We have blue trapezoid. I'm going to add them together. But guys, these are exactly the same shape. So I really only have to find one, and then I'll multiply it by two. Okay? So the area of a trapezoid is one half the height, base one plus base two. Well, what's the height here? Half of 64. This is 32. So the area of one trapezoid is a one half times 32 times 20 plus 40. The area of one trapezoid is 960. But there's two of them. I have 960 here. I have 960 here. They have the exact same dimensions. So if I just multiply that times two, the area of the whole shape is 1920 meters squared. And the last question we'll do for today, I know there's a couple on here. Um, this one had a square and a triangle, okay? So for the square, that one's easy. We have 22 times 22 or 22 squared. However you write it or do it, same answer. The area of the square is 484. Okay, wow, 484. Now the triangle. If this is 22, what's the height over here? Now this is not the slant. Notice it's going straight, it's not going diagonal. So the height is 20. So area of a triangle is one half the height times the base we get area is 220. Okay? So when I add up the whole figure, area equals 484 plus 220. Area equals 704 centimeters squared. Okay? We're going to go ahead and wrap up our 11-4 with that question. Um... If you like these videos, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Um, give it a thumbs up. Share it if you have friends that have problems with composite figures or just, you know, um, surface area of regular polygons. And have a great day.